I want to show you the integration that Microsoft Business Central has to Office 365. Uh, to do that, I'm going to give you three different examples. One will be Outlook, one will be Excel, and the third will be Microsoft Word. So let's start off in Outlook. I'll come to my Outlook, and I'll open up Outlook. Here, as I'm working in Outlook, I see that there is a an email from Bruce Kennedy asking for a quote Bruce Kennedy happens to be one of the contacts in one of our customers, the Canon Group. In order to be able to help Bruce with that particular quote, I simply come over to Contact Insights, click on that, and it opens up a view of the customer, the Canon Group, where Bruce Kennedy happens to be a contact. And now I have all the information about that particular customer What's their account receivable balance? Uh, where are they as far as sales orders, uh, customer invoices, as well as statistics about this particular customer? In order to get a quote for Bruce, I simply come to New, and I select Quote as opposed to invoices, orders, credit memos, or purchase invoices, or purchase credit memos. Selecting the quote opens up Business Central Quoting, and now I simply enter in the contact of Bruce Kennedy, create the quote, and send that to him without ever leaving Outlook. A fine example of the integration between Business Central and the application that we all use, Outlook. Let's now take a look at the Excel functionality. I'll exit from Outlook. I'll come back to Business Central. The second integration I want to show is with Excel. And in this case, I'm going to use an example of our sales rep. I'll come into my customer list. And here is my salesperson code for all of my customers. Uh, in this case, we have a sales representative that has been promoted to the director. And we have a new sales rep that will take over all of the accounts that Annette Hill currently has. So I need to make that mass change. Rather than going record by record, I'm going to use Excel to help me make that change. So here, I will open up my Excel spreadsheet where I have imported, using Edit in Excel, all of my customer records. And if I move over to my column for salesperson code, I see that I have all of those. Let's make a filter on Annette Hill. And now I have only those customers that have Annette Hill. Our new sales representative, Paul Sargent, I'll indicate his initials. I'll copy that down. Now I will bring back my full list of customers. And in this time, I will publish the record change. What that is now doing is moving all of those changes back through Business Central, going through an audit to validate all changes are fine, and then once that is passed the audit, then it will make those changes for us. So let's come back to Business Central. Here we have our change. When I refresh the screen, we now see that Paul Sargent has now been replaced for all of the accounts that Annette Hill was. A mass change like that can take an enormous amount of time. Here, by using the Edit in Excel functionality, we're able to quickly make that change with Business Central. The third integration I want to show is using Microsoft Word. In this example, we have a customer that requires an invoice that is specific to their particular needs. They want it formatted in a set fashion. So we can create that new format for the customer simply by importing this document, our invoice, into a Word document and then formatting that Word document in the manner in which the customer wants that. So let's go to the area where we can create that, and that's called Custom Report Layout. I'll use the search feature to be able to find that. 
custom report. And here it is. So these are all of the different customer and vendor facing documents that are available to be used in either the native language of Business Central or in a Word document, which is what we're interested in today. I'll come down to our invoice. And here I have my default invoice. And I want to copy that to a new layout. So here's our copy of the U.S. invoice. We can change the name of this to New Invoice. And let's go ahead and export that to Word. So now I have all of the formatting in a Word document, but I can change that any way I so desire, moving things around, formatting that, adding color, whatever I want, because I'm in Word. Here I'm going to use my Developer tab. I'll use the XML mapping pane, and I'll come over here to my schema for sales invoice, document 1306. Now I can use the header information and use any of these fields and bring them over into the header area that I want. Um, for example, if I wanted to bring in company address 6, I'd simply insert that in any of these formats. It would bring it over as I've already done here. Now I can change that layout, uh, format it any way I so desire. Once I'm satisfied with the header information, I simply come down and choose the lines that I want. Now I can add any of these fields of information to the line of the invoice, just as I did with the header. Once I'm satisfied with that, I simply save that, and now I can attach that particular document that I've given, new invoice, to my customer record. So whenever I send an invoice to the customer that's associated with this new invoice, it'll be in the format in which they particularly want it. So I can do that by customer by customer or groups of customers if I so desire. Again, all I need to know is how to operate in Word in order to be able to create that specific invoice to satisfy my customer's requirements. Thank you. Thanks for watching this Archer Point video. If you found it helpful, make sure to check out our website and blog at www.archerpoint.com. Additionally, if you have any questions regarding our products, services, or information in this video, feel free to email us at info at archerpoint.com. Thanks.